The second quarter final is here. Will we see some magic in the Lexus? Or will Narvi stride valiantly into the semis? Let's find out with your casters, Henry G and Sadokist. The current guard versus the old, the best in simple going against a man who has done things that no one in his time thought possible in Get Right, in what could be the last time he dons the gold and yellow on this stage. Coincidentally, they're both wearing that color, but only one of them will move on to play Liquid tomorrow. It's absolutely true, Matthew. I can't wait for this one. What a great map to kick things off as well. And Electro, bit of a curveball coming in. He's got the jewelies coming out. He's got the diffuse kit as well. It's unorthodox, but I love it. As we move into the pistol here, we have got the P254 Electronic. Not for simple this time. And we have got the apartments push coming in with those jewelies. You've got 30 bullets of death there. As it's a very, very slow approach from Na'Vi now. Waiting for that aggression to come through. Boomage with full control of the on our area and flamey might get first contact if the ct's push any further boomage with simple flamey could make contact as you said lecro's already waiting seeing more and more popularity with these duelies and simple's gonna take the long rotation back through t stairs Boomich does the same, so watch for ultimate to be the push flamey's gotta make contact early though that might stifle things already but they're still coming this direction Good headshot. Now back away. Footsteps doubly bound, so they'll hear both players that were in the hallways, but know that they're inside of the site still. And with them pushed back on that alone, they can still take advantage of the map. Yeah, it's great to see NIP getting right back into that towards the pit on the bomb side as well. We'll see if they can hold on to the crossfire here. Get right in the transitional position towards that runway, just trying to work out where they're heading towards next. It's going to be an A finish here. Electronic and simple, that dastardly duo waiting in the wings towards the apartments. Here comes a flashbang, Lecro to hold them off. Boris waits as well to get the information. They've dropped off the hay bales and not been spotted, but Lecro hears them. A second, the duel is looking lovely. As he sneaks back over for us, comes out, but they both drop to Simple, oh, who somehow oh, turns and finds all three. Hat trick on the site and around that look lost. And he'll get the bomb down. Electronic only has two HP, but Simple still alive and alongside. Plopski coming back in. First time on the stage for him with NIP. See if he can make an impact. And what is the opening round of this quarterfinal? And he's already looking, but they're unsure of where the two have gone. He still checks it. Every corner, no one peeking in return. They know that they want to catch them in a crossfire because of the HP as it is. Hard headshot to hit, Mapolski makes no mistake. Simple though, fourth kill, looking for it. He won't get the AC, gets shut down by Rez. It's gonna be Rez to close things out. Four kills for Simple, couldn't quite get the ace to defuse. It's right on the nose, but it looks like it's absolutely fine and he knows it as well. NIP get through by the skin of their teeth at that point. It felt like a comfortable round. The Julies were lighting up the scoreboard there, but still. Simple answers back, and that really sets the tone. You know we're going to see a force by in the second round. Simple's going to get an AK out. Look at these kills coming in. This guy is ready to perform on the stage right now. Rez has been looking electric all tournament as well. I can't wait to see this battle take place. There's the AK on Simple. UMP as well. This is going to be a difficult round for NIP to fend off. Simple back into Banana. On top down, smoke at the ready, but it won't spread that far, so they may not think he's here. Yeah, he doesn't have to use it unless it touches him. Now it has, he's in trouble taking nade damage here, but still willing to fight. Plopsky at the very top there. He's got the MP9, and oh my goodness, you don't want to mess with simple at these angles. The pre-fire, is it coming in? You better believe it is! It's a double headshot! B bomb site is wide open! Get right, trying to retake with the MP9. Is it even possible at this point? Back in this site, Lycro gets another shot. Just to note, simple has all six kills. Four Navi so far. Bombs back down to the bottom stairs. They've already got the rotation in. Three in the site. That, this is it's, weird. It, it is weird. It's really late. No one's gone back for it. And Boomich is going to go join his teammates because they have the open site. But truthfully, he could have walked up and gone toward A. It may not matter. Flaming and Electronic with kills. Boomich didn't want to go alone for the fact that if he did lose the bomb to someone in rotation, it would have caused a problem. But they could have backed it out as well. Either way, it'll be all fine. It's just Forrest. He does have a kit, and he has, well, had a smoke, but perhaps trying to secure his exit at this point, and the bullets seem to evaporate as Electronic comes in instead. It's a scary map. The things Simple are doing are unspeakable right now. The Glock 4K 
He opens up the B bomb site single handedly with 40 HP. No one can get close to him. They don't even have time to fire a bullet as he pre fires every corner with just unique precision. Look at this. Rez could do nothing about it. He's one of the best aimers in the game right now as well. And simple with the pre fire and Plopsky. Round's done at that point. It really doesn't look good for NIP as they force by into the second round here. The CZs, the Deagles are coming out. Navi have struggled with this round throughout the tournament, though. We'll see if Lecro. A bit of a specialist to the scout, doesn't land that shot. He'll be falling back as he'll do no damage at the very start. Zeus going for that basic control, <laughs> but there's anything but as Rez or this take off his head there. It's a five on four early. He enters the choke point alone with no trade potential, and down he goes. Crow's got the angle. It's slow to react. Trying to get the shot off, but the scouts' body shot wouldn't have worked anyway. Tag would have been lovely just to weaken them up, considering they've already lost Zeus. That is a massive contribution. We know that the Deagles on top of it are menacing. CZ's DPS, in terms of that statistic, it's a hard one to quantify in Counter-Strike, because one headshot from one gun kind of outrules the DPS fact, but can certainly dish damage out in a fast manner when they do arrive on sites. And Simple is heading over to the roof, but Electronic isn't comfortable with them doing that alone. He wants to purge the B-side, or at least get some information if possible. Now this looks deadly. Simple making his way through a solo gambit towards the A-side, waiting for a mistake, an opportunity to be presented towards him. But they are running out of time. They have to commit towards A here. A difficult task. Get right needs the headshot with the Deagle. He has got Ferris up in the balcony as well. It's not going to be checked. Another kill here for NIP as they start to look very decent indeed. Time running low. There's the scout. It looks like NIP are actually going to take this round. Three versus one. Time is just not there for Electronic, but the frag is. Can he even get the bomb down yes. at this point? Yes, he Five can. seconds, Ooh. but he's going to try and fade it out. Now he can plant. He can still get it down. He can still get it down. One versus one. Rez, he didn't push. And now Electronic has the advantage. He saw his head, he saw him, he knows he's there, he goes back up on the ball! Oh! That is as close to Crocs as you'll ever see! He just barely got that plant off, and a fake at eight seconds, the ball's on the man. I can't believe it. That's the only way he wins the round. If he goes to the full plant there, they rush him down. They didn't play that incorrectly. They did everything they could. It was just a very smart play from Electronic. He said in interviews before, he thinks he can be a better player than Simple. We're starting to see signs of him getting on that level at this point. What an amazing round. It was a difficult start. The Deagle headshots coming through, but a three versus one to close it out. Electronic lights them up here. It's the MP9 to kick things off. The UMP and the fake plant. Plopsky didn't see it coming, and then he bests Rez in the one versus one. What a great round and a full eco for NIP now as we enter round number four. A bit of respite here, a chance to calm down. It's been quite the affair so far. They sent four players in towards Banana. We've got a nice stack at the back of B. This is a very powerful one. With a Deagle there, you can get a lot of kills. I think they have a P250 or USB. Probably not going to find a frag with this one, but maybe a Dink. Yeah, Dink, certainly. Yep, I'll give you that. But the head armor, unfortunately, nullifies the fact that this range is the problem. The dink. It He's on, but they didn't... Oh, they did oh, spot right. Boomich. How does... Boomich has the information there's a boost, knows there's two there. Supposing that there's a stack, he still has to clear the other side. Fair enough. Bit unfortunate on timing, but you would have expected there was more support for him, given that Zeus was still in the corner. So they lose the first man again, but still trying to solve this issue. They're going to have Simple get traded out next. USPs are doing extremely well. Someone decide what's happening at this point. The Molotovs come in. That should make things a little bit easier for them. But they're taking heavy damage still. The P250 funds yet another frag. Brilliant Let trades. Grow. Yeah, this has cost Na'Vi a lot of money here. He's too far away to really do anything with this as the bomb gets planted. But what a round. That was full USPs and two P250s. That was it. No armor, no nades. Three kills. They're making Na'Vi sweat. And if, even if Lecro just sits and holds for exits, causes some bomb damage to here, gets one more gun down, maybe even gets an AK himself. They've won the economy battle in this round. The yeah. fact that they traded that well on the site is huge. Down to 31 HP, but he's aware they're still inside of the site. They can slip through ruins at this point, and Zeus just confirms it. That's what needed to be done at that point in time. Yeah, they win the round, but it's been too close so far. The money's so low, so NIP know they've done damage at this point. Is it enough, though, for the AWP to be brought out? NIP not a team that relies on it necessarily. 
We're going to have five M4s come through. No orgs. You're seeing that drop off, which is an interesting note just to see that nerfed. It is actually uh, significantly less in the quarterfinals so far. Do to see a lot more Kriegs, though. There's going to be two of those. Electronic and Flamey, of course, as the bomb left in T spawn again. Four players heading towards B. It's always such a controversial battle. Speaking of which, simple legs get right. He jumps across. It will be down to 18 HP as Reds will be willing to fight at the sandbags here. Snade off the wall, Rez. Forward of flames. He's committed at this point. And a really very is. ominous position to be in because what waits on the backside of the smoke? Well, fortunately for him, his real estate now. Early op. I shouldn't say early. We are in round five, but T side op for simple. Yeah, it's a scary one. He knows there's not going to be an AWP on the NIP side, so they're slowing things right down, seeing what he can find here. Face checking towards Arch. With Get Right tagged up as well, they have to go into a very passive start. They can't really have a traditional crossfire here. They have to play the pit. See Lecro tentatively in towards that Arch as Zeus. He knows there's a push going on there. He knows something's not quite right. A player in towards the logs and a wall bang, of course. Rez needs two here. The round's over. Are they going to check it? They will. He still finds the double kill. He makes this round possible for an IP, but that's the cue. They're making their way forward. They're smoking CT spawn. Lecro has to sink or swim at this point. Does he push through the smoke or go towards ruins? He'll wait for the rotations. He will try and do what he can from this, but he can't overcommit. If he goes down now, there's no chance of winning the round. This is fine for Boomage as well. It means the forest can't get there. They've got to do this on their own, but they are so far. Let's get right. Gets at least past CT spawn. Boomage is trying to race back and get to Simple, but Simple, AWP. Oh, the flash. They're, they're about 100 HP, and he knows he can peek on that. Unfortunately, the smoke down means he couldn't get, get right off of it. So it doesn't oh, work out oh. yet, but he had the information. He could still re-peek the angle, could still time the smoke, and he does that so well. And now Lecro finds himself in a one-on-two rather than simple isolated in what was one, because Boomich is on the map, and unfortunately the bomb is as well, and it is about to destroy half of it because it's now 4-1 for Na'Vi. Great game so far from Na'Vi. Aggressive stuff there from NIP, getting full control of the banana position, but you could see it's so difficult to hold on to. If you've fully committed, you've expended all your, your utility, you have to stay down there. You need to commit to that crossfire down at the logs and the barrels because you won't be able to hold off the execution. Rez, he did more than he had to there. He gets two frags, that's what he was worth, and unfortunately the trades were there. Three versus three, great little flank here from Boomich. If he goes down there, there's a real chance for NIP. The problem is Simple is hitting absolutely everything right now, and he played it perfectly. He just ran the time down, got the kill that was acquired in CT, spawn and then waited just timed it down and we'll get ourselves a 4-1 scoreline here and no partial buy really you'll classify this one as an eco no armor just a few upgraded pistols and a couple of HEs that's about it as they stack towards the apartments three players there but mid control granted already for Navi Start for this man so far, get right. Only the one kill, but hasn't had a lot to work with. Zeus, that's only his second, AK versus pistol. Almost gonna go in his favor. Forrest is actually behind him. Oh, that's the bomb. I know it's this. really a lot of time left in the round, but he can make this very awkward. The fact that he gets away with that with 100 HP, repeats and gets a dink as well. Now they've got something in it. No guns grabbed because of the location of Simple and the fact that he can posture above, above them and guard the positions, but they've got... Oh, that's huge. I was going to say, they've got Electronic and No Man's Land caught out. And he gets the kill that's going to keep him alive. Bomb gets planted and now things settle. A bit of excitement there, a bit more from Forrest. Three kills in the round. We'll see whether he can actually do anything with this now. They have got a Krieg, but no kits, remember, or armor. And might be just better side. off just saving it. It might be. I, they can hold them in. No nades, so Doja won't get a but calling at this point in time. Sex bomb in the corner. Sex bomb, that's right. That's where they will save. They'll head that direction knowingly that uh, they are being watched from either exit point. So another one that comes close, but not close enough with pistols for NIP. But for the second time, they bring it down oh. to just... Oh, they lost. Okay, it wasn't the Krieg, though, so That's Krieg's still up. A good point. It was Reds with just a pistol. But, but nonetheless, the second time, they brought it down to just two players remaining yes. with pistols. So they are still ch chipping away constantly they, they at Na'Vi's economy. If it was a CZ side... I would say that's a massive deal. On the T side, the fact that Simple, he still is alive. We've got 6K on Flamey, Simple, $5,000. Like, they're good for a couple of rounds here. They've already got 5-1 scoreline. 
It's his NIP still. Yeah, sure, you're getting close. Unless you're winning a couple of those rounds, it doesn't do a whole lot for you. Electro now has the AWP. He's been performing well with that weapon so far in this tournament. He is calling again, but Electronic is an absolute savage here, pushing through every bit of utility they have above the flames and a little bit of damage taken here. It's the classic battle we all love to watch, but who will come out on top? It's Reds once again towards those sandbags, and most of the utility now has been dumped. They have to commit to this fight once again. They've done substantial damage towards the T side, but Flamey ready and waiting for the duel. Don't forget that Simple was down sub 30 HP when he found two entries on round two, so anything can happen here. I love this play from Boomage. His timings of the flanks have been perfect. So now he's just trying to show a little bit of presence here. He's confirmed that no one's really watched in the apartments. He can find maybe one kill where there's two players towards quad. Take one of those down, he's going to force a rotation. I would suggest that what we've seen in this event so far, Boomage seems the most comfortable on Inferno and playing this lurk role and getting yes. information for his team. Obviously, fitting into a new lineup is never easy, but if he can have some individual aspects to it, which kind of he does by being the lurker, it's a significant smoke to arch. So we have all oh, the get right booster. That's a problem. Flamey spotted him. The flashbang is absolutely spot on. Boomage to provide it. Five versus four. A bomb's over toward the top of banana. They're and just trying one smoke to there. get the rotation. There is one smoke there. They're not going to get a rotation until oh. right now. And it's so well timed because Electronic catches Plomsky. That brings Rez back. Bomb drop, but he's alone flashing himself back in. He might be able to line them up. Oh, I thought. I thought for sure he would find at least two, but smart reactions from Zeus. Looked away, fully restored, turned back, and it's all on to Forest. Yeah, unfortunately for him, this one's just out of reach. Navi have played a very good game. Nothing too flashy here, just, just classic fundamentals of Counter-Strike, really. Defaults, good trades, good shots, nice lurking going on, and making sure they're committing to bombsite. There's been a few hairy moments, sure, against the pistols, but as long as you win the round at the end, it doesn't actually matter. This is what it's all about, posting rounds on the T side. It's their map pick, but they're looking incredibly comfortable right now, as Forrest will try and save his silence M4 towards T-spawn. At this stage, uh, you would assume that we'll have the maximum loss bonus. So there is money there for the CTs, especially with him saving the M4. Plus, he's got 2,400. So another buy if he survives, but still, it's not looking good at all. 6-1 now, as three players survive once again. That money we mentioned earlier that was being chipped away at, it really is recovering now. Yeah, that's the unfortunate side, is you have to follow each and every round. You can't just win one or, or have that impact here and there and then have it fall off, so... Timeout, tactical. Coaches have their contribution. These are obviously a little more relaxed on the Navi side. Yeah, not much has to be said there. There's more of the same here, boys. We're happy with this. This is uh, looking very good. On the other side, though, NIP needs to decide if they buy into this round. They've got one M4 and not a whole lot else. They've got around $3,000. They're going to buy some Deagles here. Plopsky could even buy a Hail Mary AWP, but they don't really have the superstar AWP, they don't have someone like a Guardian or Oscar or a Simple, of course, to really carry them for a round like that. He purchases the Famasa like that, it gives him a fighting chance this round, he doesn't expend all of his cash. He had a lot more than everyone else. We have a Famasa, an M4, three Deagles. Lecro is a top five Deagle player in the world, in my opinion. So if he can get going, there is a chance that IP win this round and uh, light the fire beneath themselves. Forrest, there we go, that's what we needed. He flashes himself in towards middle, takes Boomich down, a nice advantage found. Nade ready for Rez. All there. Ricochet off the wall. Oh, one cross. Zeus got a cross. Now he saw it. Smoke on his way. He'll potentially counter that with one of his own, but it's early. Minute 20, and they're actually going to go. They're trying to hold utility as long as they can, but it's too late. Three in the there side, it though, and it's Lecro with the pistol in the back lines. Yeah, you can feel it coming. They try to sneak a player through. And the Deagles have been a big talking point of this event. It's NIP with a five on three advantage here. But it's simple, they're still alive here. Flamey trying to set them up, trying to get some positional control. Making his way towards the arch, no one really there. He is clean up until the corner. Forrest will have the M4, he times it well. Another kill, this is looking very good now. Surely they don't give this one up. With 40 seconds remaining, this man in the screen alive, anything can and will happen. He has the bomb, nine kills to his name. He just needs to find an opening, and his teammate, that's going to be Zeus, also with the same idea. If he gets this kill on Forrest, there's a real chance to get the bomb down here. Spots the barrel, takes him down, but where's the second NIP player? Let's get right towards Boiler. They can get a plan here, and Simple's found yet another frag. Surely they don't steal this one away. Oh, get right. Lovely shot on Zeus. It's all to Simple. 
And they are on the move. They're on the rotation. They could well steal this away. He's going to go aggressive as he has to do and always does in these situations. Lucky to be alive. Gets away. No way. And he's going to switch. Baits them sound by throwing the pistol. He wanted them to believe he was on the corner box yeah. in the smoke, but they wouldn't push through. And three is too many. Finally, an IP steal one. Well, that's the round they needed. Forrest took matters into his own hands. He flashes himself towards the middle. He gets the opening frag. They needed one of those rounds to come in their favor. Like we said, yes, they've come very close in their ecos to winning them. There's been a couple of one versus ones. And unless the win's on the board, T side, it's not going to dent them too much. And uh, that one hurts. That one hurts a lot more. And it gets NIP back in the game now as we go six to two. Here's the replay. I told you, Lacro's Deagle is deadly. And it's still open things up. Simple. There was a real chance here, though. If he hit one more shot, maybe this one on Plopsky, it could have been there. But I like the idea. He did throw the pistol in that corner with the smoke down to actually suggest he'd move to that corner. But obviously, uh, it was a, a little bit too much of a run for him as he goes fast towards B. And it will be Lecro, not in a great position with the AWP here. The standbags, he needs to get the hell out of there. Lecro. Preemptive strikes with the op, certainly convincing perhaps that he's still on B given that they are at the minute and 30 round mark in the round, but he is going to rotate back over toward the library side. Wow. Boom, already has get right down. His entries are looking exceptional. Yeah, that's really good. What a time for it to happen as well. You've got over a minute on the clock. You barely started your default. You've got banana control and opening pick. It's forcing rotations still. Rez and Plopsky will be holding towards the B side of the map. They have incendiaries. They have a smoke. Both of them, in fact. So they have a great chance of defending a B push. But is that going to happen, though? Simple with the bomb towards bottom and middle. Boomage still investigating the A side of the map here. And it's Forrest, such a strong pit player. There with Lecro, who nails the shot of the AWP. That's brought it back to an even kill here. Four and four. Final play will be towards B. And remember, CTs have the utility to fend this off. They have yes. everything within their arsenal to make sure this is a successful round. There's the smoke of 35 seconds. That's godlike. Really difficult to recover now and even justify pushing it. Flamey up onto Boiler Balcony. And they will try and exploit the early pick. My Boomage, just Forrest waits in the wall. Peeks back out, sees the man a little bit late on the backside, but gets some help. Lecker with two now with the AWP. In fact, he's down below. Very tight angle to hit both shots. It's Simple's turn to respond. He can't do it. And NIP are starting to look menacing now after the timeout. They're going to find their third round, second in a row. And this comes off the back of the forced by a pistol yes. win, which really starts to change things in terms of the money. It really does. Once again, Lecro, he's the man to find the frags, three of them with the AWP there. Like I said, they don't have a superstar warper, but he's certainly a dab hand with it. Great round. Still money there for Na'Vi, but not much. It's been whittled down now. I was wondering how close that shot was. An incredibly tight gap, but he makes it work. Zeus runs into the crosshair as well. Lecro, great performance there. Great awareness. And we'll see if there's a buy available for Na'Vi in general. Simple as $6,000. Could go for the AWP if required as we take a tactical timeout on their side now. Orb will be purchased. There will be compromises here, though. They have one AK for electronics. Simple on the Orb. The rest of the players opting for Deagles here, from what I believe. They are going to be forcing into this round the best they can. It's a CZ for Zeus and Boomich here. So you're going to be playing off simple. You have two approaches here. You have to go very fast and try and take all the aggro away for your heavy artillery players, the, the stars, electronic, and simple here. Or you slow it right down and see what simple can do with the orb. If he finds an opening, then you commit off that. You have got the utility to execute. You just need the opening first here. Ball, getting further up middle, but a Molotov down. He'll hold his bench for now. That's fine. Does fire into the flash, so telling of the fact that the op is, as they know, still on the map and where it is for now, but inconsequential, really, is minute 26. They'll rotate back down and head over toward Banana instead. Bit of a forward stance from Rez. Plopsky there to support him as well. Looking to get baited in. He's staring at the wall, obviously, for utility purposes. They'll play off of each other. They've made a bit of noise getting there. Oh, either way. That is why the setup works. Because Rez sits there alone, and there's no utility. He continues looking at a gray wall. But instead, Plopsky saves him, and now they both have control still. 
Yeah, good smokes as well. They can get the hell out of there. They have the advantage. That's what they're looking for. Really interesting setup. I actually haven't seen that word before, but you can see the benefits of it. As soon as you go to face check the half wall, you commit to that peak, which is the common go-to. You've got a player on sandbags protecting you. You've got two chances there to keep a player alive. They've done a great job. They've maintained their health. And problem is, I guess, they have no utility now. They actually have zero on oh. the B side of the map. It's clever. Walk simple up on top of the wall yes. and... Check the bags for them. They are still heading this direction. And they still only have two guns. Let's see if they can kill fast enough to find another. Rez takes Boomish down. 19 seconds. They are running out of time. Smoke in place towards CT. It doesn't even look like they're going to get another kill. And Simple wants the op further. 13 seconds. Five alive with 100 HP. They are going to pursue him down middle as well. And he knows it. Yeah. He'll do well to survive here. T steps right now. They're all going to get an extra cash for the next round. But they will... Start to rack up a loss bonus at this point. I think Simple's been found. Oh, he's smart. So I was going to say, it. don't you dare cross that door. That wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, well, he survives. And that means things are still possible for him. They can get P250s around it, but NIP, they're, they're playing this correctly. They're not playing a super aggressive game and feeding every giving opportunities. They're denying opportunities. There's nothing to be found, right? They're holding uh, the tightest of crossfires at the very top of the map. They're waiting for commitments from Na'Vi. Their executions haven't been great this tournament. The individual performances have been very good. It's just the tactical side of things haven't looked as spot on as usual. It's understandable of a new player coming in. And if you don't give them a chance to shoot you, that's when they can drop off. Simple. Uh, we'll have the orb this round, but surely NIP don't give them a chance to even use it. Forest and get right together. Lecro on the other side of mid. Navi's been pretty concise on where they want to go in each and every round, but they haven't been consistent in a good way. Oh, God. Oh, flamey in that they haven't gone just banana or just to the top of the middle of every round. They are changing it up, and that keeps NIP guessing, and it means they can't start getting, a, I guess, comfortable in maybe stacking up banana side or putting three over there with early utility. They have to play very standard defense, but again, no guns this time. It started off well for the pistols, but now Rez is in position. Oh! A third as well, and shots. He might get the ace because they're all there. Unfortunate. Second four kill this game is simple. Started with one, Rez finds this, and Boomich with the op. What can he possibly try to do with it? I've been so impressed with what Rez has been presenting this tournament. This is what we want to see from a young Swedish star. He had so much hype around him in 2017, and it seemed to drop off for a year or so, but now he is back. Speaking of which, Boomich, he'll be keeping them alive in this round. There's still a chance he can win it. 30 seconds, two on one. Forest towards the apartments, Plopski. Actually pushing towards Banana yeah. area. Boomish goes CD spawn. There could be something interesting here. Maybe he doesn't have time for that. As Forrest will have to just sit and wait. There is a way to plant safely away from the apartments, but how do you possibly know he's in there? He, that's a really tough position to predict. And you're right, he could have oh, wrapped back through, him. but he didn't think that he... Oh, could. Boomish head not quite showing, but Forrest is going to get an angle so that the second he emerges, he Ooh. needs to hit it. He had to hit it. AWP re-peaking on that. I thought he had it. And it's NIP again, and it now means four rounds in a row. All of them, I shouldn't say all of them, excuse me, two of them defuses and two of them on timeout, so there has been some money saved. But Navi is doing well to keep themselves in it money-wise. They all are going to get guns out again this time. This was wonderful from Rez. Such crisp aim. The Krieg really suits his style. He's just waiting, calm, collected, gets four kills. Not quite the ace, and you can see... They get it to the next round now. There is a buy available. Simple has the Galil. Not the best news for them. But there is a decent buy with most of the utility. Finally, some aggression, though. The ninja's pushing middle. Get right, the one to do it. It's 2-9 and nine right now. Hasn't been his best showing, but it's early days. Round 12. Lecro to cover. Get right, watch his second middle. Such an awkward and scary position to be in. This is no man's land, essentially. Will Na'Vi detect it? They're coming in towards second middle now. Get right. He looks like he might be, actually be able to take a couple down here. Get right to electronic. He is there well is. down middle, but somehow gets away with it. Catches out simple. Perfect. And no one re-peaks from the bottom of mid because they aren't sure if anyone still waits at top peeking down to support him. And there certainly was. They backed off now. That was Big a big round from Get Right. Yeah, he's been quiet as well, by the way. Those are two kills of his four. Yeah. But what a great setup there. He had Lecro to provide the cover from T-Steps. He could just focus towards second middle, watching for anyone trying to jump up towards the apartments there. He was worth a couple. He manages to get it. He's hungry for more as well. Look at this. The former star taken to the skies once again. 
That's three kills in this round, a five versus two. Zeus and Boomich trying to do what they can with this. But get right on for the ace. And at this point, I'd say go for it. Get yourself that confidence. It's been a quiet game so far. You've definitely won this round. He's got another kill on the cards. Boomich does take him down. And it will be Lekra to trade it out. So round still in the back, but still impressive scenes there from Get Right. Very, very impressive scenes from Get Right to make sure that these secured things early on. And we have a tie game. And IP, by the way, have not lost a round since that timeout on 6 1. So whatever they discussed certainly worked and got through to them. Yeah, it's good to see now they've got the resources, they've got a bit of confidence, a couple of impressive rounds under their belt. Now they can start having some fun with this. They can start pushing down and it's get right, given the, one of the biggest responsibilities you can have, pushing middle on Inferno on the CT side. Remember, this is a def defensive map on the CT forces. You want to be holding back here and he's taking the game towards and they had no idea his position. He covers his back with the incendiary so no one can trade him out. Gets a lovely shot towards Simple. Third frag as well from the boiler room. What a fantastic play. That's classic get right there. You can see what it means to him. He's had a quiet showing so far, but three massive kills win the round single-handedly. But right back into the action here. It's Boomich up against Lekro. That's the awkward move. This is an absolute brawl at the top of Banana here. Plovsky's not going down without a fight, though. He evens things up in a four-on-four. Four. They need to get the hell out of there now. Good and Sendry will buy in some time. Plovsky and Rez back in the site. Forrest already over toward A. Nade just tickles them. And that's not enough to convince them of not going forward. They'll continue to push in. Good smoke from Rez. Minute 17, bit early, but there's one more left on the map, and Plopski is in the right place to use it on the B site. I say on the map, I mean the CT side, that is. There is obviously fully four smokes on Navi with each and every player that's alive. Rez is going to push this. Oh, that is risky with the stack. I think he thought they were further down. I think he oh, was no, so the dummy and simple through the smoke point. Plopsky as well. He's just going to watch towards CT with the AWP. Smoke from his teammate. He gets through. Force doesn't oh. know he's there. That is just so smart. He is one step ahead, literally, in this case, every single time of the play that NIP was making. You're exactly right there. No other player does that. That's why he's got that je ne sais quoi. He's got that star factor. He does the plays that no one else will. He's got the talent to back it up as well. That was something quite special. AWP, three kills, and get right. Nothing, unfortunately, you can do about this one as he'll hold on to the M4A4. He does get a kill on Electronic, that's something at least, but uh, at this point they know exactly where he is and are they going to commit to the hunt? It's not really worth it considering the Na'Vi money's so low, NIPs is actually really strong, they've won a lot of rounds here. It's Na'Vi needing to hold on to their weapons, so I don't think they'll fully commit to this, but they certainly will have a look around. As they do get him in the end, Zeus will find him, just to note that. So uh, a bit of a gamble, but it works out for them and definitely cash available for NIP. Lecro straight into that AWP. Uh, I'd be interested to see if they want to try a double orb setup out with Forest potentially. That could be quite interesting. But for now, he'll stick on his silenced M4. Rez will bring the M4A4 out. So no org scene at all on the NIP side. So that's quite interesting to know. Very interesting. So this is the what I thought. How did he get this second kill? Okay, I can't even analyze that for you. That's a straight up pre-fire for a smoke towards coffins. Just that's why it's considered the best. I, there's some things I can't explain. Yeah, it knows the lineup. I've never seen. There's this. In instinctual elements to Counter-Strike, certainly, Indeed. and he is absolutely reading people so well lately. So, with that, Navi finally get back into the winner's column. They never lost the lead. They stay ahead just by one, however, so close to the contested half, and NIP with money are gonna try and continue. To make that be the case, as Forrest and Get Right stay inside of the pit, Lekro more passive this time, so none of them out toward the apartments, toward Quad, they're all gonna sit back and allow Na'Vi to play into themselves. First time we've really seen them be gifted the mid-wall quite so comfortably. Well, it's Lekro to defend him, he's got that AWP, takes the repeat, two missed shots, and that's not gonna be good enough, I'm afraid, remember. It will be Boomich, the former sniper using the rifle here, looking towards the pit, and they're not slowing down at all. But so much damage done by that incendiary. NIP can bring this one back. There's one more player in the pit. It's Get Right, but not for long. Zeus has been great this tournament. The Krieg really is getting a lot of damage done in his hands. There's now Rez and Plopsky trying to retake. They are going for this. There is cash available for an IP. Three on two. It's definitely worth an investigation, but so far away. Plopsky needs to get his skates on. Rez holding towards Arch. They're both smoked off. Maybe they are going to save at this point. It doesn't look possible to me, at least. Uh, we'll see. The bomb lot at the halfway stage, they are going to at least push forward and see what can be done. 
It's at the point of no return, like right now. So they have to fall off this one. They're just going for exits. Plowski seeing if anyone will come towards the apartments. Round for Na'Vi. And just a fast push towards the arch side. Nothing too technical there. Missed shots from Lecro. If you're going to miss two of them and re-peak, uh, it's going to cost you your life. Yeah, unfortunately. And, and not even just his life, potentially. The round in itself, just on that alone, because it gave up so much control. Gave up so much access to the rest of the map. Once you control that arch, you cut off the rotation. You can swing on the players in pit. It gets very awkward to hold in that reverse angle. Every round aside from the very start of the pistol has been answered with a consecutive round, a follow-up round. So no one's gone 1-1-1 one, 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 back and forth as of yet. But this is round 15, finally. We get to the conclusion of the half, and fortunately, it's a good one because everyone's got guns. That makes it a little more exciting for us. No AWP on the CT side, though, but they are going to push down. Rez, goodness Ouch. me, that is huge. Smoke on top of it, and they're held and contained, but they are damaged. Simple went down to 51 on that. Cubby play. Res to bait in the aggro. Get right underneath the, the other side at the roof. He's isolated. He's alone, but they get him through the smoke. Lecro got two. And then Get Right walks out easily because they're wondering how the hell they've died when everything was concealed and covered, but it's simple left. And he gets Get Right on the cross, two versus four. They got to opt for the AK instead of the AWP here. Remember. Electronic and simple, the scariest duo in CSGO right now. I don't care if you think that's hyperbole. That's my opinion. They're so good together. And Plopsky alone towards B. If they can smoke him off and spawn and get a plan down here, a four on two is definitely possible. So what have they gone for here? They're going to try and boost on towards the site. The smoke mm. lands in an odd position. Plopsky gets towards Coffins. It does block vision to allow him to focus towards spawn, but he gets the one that should be enough, and it's 8-7. They split the difference here. This is looking like a terrible game for an IP. They managed to win one of their four spy rounds, and it lit the fire beneath them. They get back into it as we go 8-7 now. We'll swap things over, and we'll see you after this break. Got the army with me like Xerxes. Understand you can't hurt me. I got a couple thickies chilling in my Show me where them curves be Curious, I'm not curvy Honestly, you and your best friend Could go and develop a new twerk scene Got the army with me like Xerxes Army with me like Xerxes Understand you can't hurt me Understand you can't hurt me I got the army with me like Xerxes Understand you can't hurt me I got a couple things you shit in my room We'll be shaking it like a twerk scene I'm not curvy. Honestly, you and your best friend could go and deep. 
develop a new twerk sheet. Got the army with me like Xerxes. Army with me like Xerxes. Understand you can't hurt me. Understand you can't hurt me. I got the army with me like Xerxes. Understand you can't hurt me. I got a couple things you shouldn't in my room. You'll we'll be shaking it like a twerk sheet. Seven for NI, or excuse me, for Navi, as they had a bit of a resurgence in the half NIP. They came back from a 6 1 yes. deficit on the back of a timeout that leads us to a split decision. They swap over to the T side, and we get to the conclusion of Inferno. That's only map one of this series so far. Yeah, Mirage up next. This is the pick of Navi. And NIP, to be fair, they've done a good job. That was looking horrific for them. 6 1 down. They managed to bring it right back. It was Reds that really did look sharp. It's good to see him performing on the big stage here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an exciting pistol round. If the first one was anything to go by, force up to Varma for NIP. One smoke, two flashes suggest an A side finish, but you never know. Simple. He'll be shutting things down before they even get a chance. That's his plan anyway. As he faces towards second middle, he spotted one that takes a bullet to the face and it'll cost him. Lecro ready for it. And it's the Glocker range to find the first. First pick. Zeus. Looks toward the top of the stairs. Didn't see much, but Plopsky gets by and heads over toward the logs. Forrest is still looking back toward middle as Rez gets closer. One down, three to find in B, and then Zeus on his own toward A. Bomb is heading over on that side of the map as well. So things look really comfortable for NIP. Remember, they did win the pistol as well. Of the 6-1 deficit, it was the pistol that they got. It was everything afterwards that fell apart. Yeah, it's that second round symbol AK that ruined their hope and dreams of getting the 3-0, unfortunately. Well, for now, things looking good for an IP. They've taken down the superstar as symbol, and Zeus is alone at the A side. He's trying to show enough presence to hopefully funnel them towards B, but he does need to kill. A lot of responsibility here. He knows he has to commit, really. If they get up towards A, there's no chance that retake. It'll be too difficult to hold off, and it looks like they're fully committed. He'll hold the arch, and they're committing with a gamble stack here. He really hopes they go back towards B, which still could happen. The bomb actually falling back here. Maybe Plopsky with the fake. But no, they do commit. They are going to take over the A site. Four players on the other side of the map. It should be round NIP. Look at that boost. They have no idea the bomb's even going down. Zero idea. Two pistols. Almost certainly for an IP at this stage. Are they, are they saving? I think they are. They're saving. I use, this is very rare. So the reason they save is because they have armor, right? They have diffuse kits. Inferno is one of the few maps with the second round. Four spies actually have a real fighting chance of winning. You know this one's gone. You've got absolutely zero chance of winning it. Hold on to the armor, the diffuse kit, the flashbang. This all sounds quite trivial, but at a four spy, you can take every dollar where you can. And there's $300 more for Flamey as NIP look for some exit kills here. Oh, it's going to cost them 600 bucks, though. It's not a bad save at all because... He builds up a bit of cash in the act of doing so. Forrest is now the next on the move. Obviously, they're aware of the situation. Forrest doesn't want to go too far beyond that doorway, but let's see what he wants to take it back. He's going to go out because get Flamey down. So one down under a save isn't the worst thing in the pistol. Bit more money lost. NIP 2 and 0 oh in those rounds, the opening of the halves. Yeah, this is what you play from Flamey. Unfortunately, not many kills to report that round. Just the one, really. Uh, that had any sort of impact. It was simple with the push down second middle. Obviously, NIP have been aware of it. We discussed in the first half, they're trying to play a, a game that doesn't allow him to have opportunities. He's holding so far back, so he doesn't have a chance to take multiple players down. He got punished for the push that round. He could get in his head as they do. Force by here, MP9s, Deagles. 
Zeus trying to smoke towards T-Step, successful in doing so. Follows it up with the HE. How much damage does it do? Quite a lot. They don't receive much at all in return. Vopsy is going down. The MP9s are working out here. Early advantage and a gun available at the bottom of Banana here. But do they want to try and push and get it? Simple quick check. Backs away instead. Zeus. Gonna get more aggressive. He wants that UMP. Succeeds in his attempt and backs off to the site. All above mid right now with the smoke down. Electronic simple. Boom which to hold very passively. No one watching the arch side at all, but they could have electronic to see it. And Flamey's getting in position in library now. High smoke on banana. That is a bit of a concern for Zeus. Given that he's anchoring but can't see. Counter flash just to buy him some time. But now Flamey will confirm they're coming over toward the arch. And that is safety in itself. For Zeus. Insecurity, though, for those on the site, because two smokes down, they're able to wrap. Electronic can't do anything. Simple trying to buy himself some space. Use his own smoke. Missed the opportunity of the first shot, and he was spotted, which means Get Right was able to work toward him. And like, bro, down on the site, though, Boomage causing problems. If he had found the third, it's a very different round to report. But Forrest finds Zeus instead. Well, there you have it. Opening kill for Na'Vi, but it's NIP that closed things out just about there in the two versus one. Boomage. I thought he had a real chance to close that one out there with the MP9, but not going to happen. It's going to be Na'Vi sweating now. Remember, they just force war. They're full eco at this stage. It didn't do enough damage to justify any more investment than just uh, a 5.7 and a P250. Get right, some lovely shots here on the A side, really confirming things for the ninjas. Awareness at an absolute peak here. That shot, that's the one that wins the round. He take down Simple, it was low already. Boomish did what he could, but it wasn't quite enough. Forrest watching the flanks, and Simple knows he had an opportunity there. The one D had to land. We're into the next round. Like we said, full ego. And IP can't afford to give this one up. That will be the first ones to post double digits. That's what the script reads right now, but this, this tournament's anything to go by. That can change very quickly. My bro. Bit misleading, I think, just in the X ray lineup. It's two walls to shoot through there. And one thing you and I have always said about NIP over the years is their anti-ecos are actually pretty promising most of the time. They, they don't, they're not a team known to give these sort of rounds yeah, up. That, that came in with the threat mentality yes. when he was coaching with them for a period after Pitta, who's now the coach, interestingly enough. So they've taken some philosophies and carried them over to gone back to what won them a major on this stage well, this Pitta was part of that. This is what we want to see. The only commitment that's being made right now is get right with the MAC-10. That's a weapon that's useless against the rifles. He's allowed to go and investigate, get them an advantage potentially. He's done that. You group as a five-man unit now. All the pros out there watching, take note. This is how it's done. A real nice attempt from NIP here. Should be giving themselves a maximum chance of winning this round. Full execution on top of it. You've got an opening pick and he's sending in Lecro the AK. Now where's the smoker CT yeah, spawn though? Wait, what's happened here? Yeah, it's all falling apart. Oh, forget what I said. Yeah, everything looks so good. Up, up until that point, they put utility in the site. They had a good nade towards CT. No one looked at it, and then the smoke came out so late. They lost oh, they two players, them. and Electronic pushes back in. 13 seconds, bombs down to the site. Get right, has to go aggressive, and the man with the MAC-10 has to be the savior of the round. He's shut down Electro midair. How to lose a round by NIP. I can't believe it. The one time, Matt, I'm giving all the credit out. I'm saying it's there. It's all working. It looks perfect. Yeah, Why are they we'll not? show you, Henry. I know. <laughs> of course. And it's the one time you don't smoke CD spawn. Like, what's happened there? They, did, they just didn't consider CD spawn be a possibility? I couldn't tell you. Don't take anything away from I Electronic. Even, That's amazing, but I still. I was even going to go as far as assume that it was smoke because they threw yeah, so much right? utility what? in the site. Why they were so confident be? walking in. Someone just forgot. But they had the smoke available. We saw it come in after the two deaths. It was the perfect round. You couldn't have designed it any better. That's the dream scenario. Full execution, man advantage against pistols, and you've absolutely thrown it away because of one smoke. Unbelievable scenes. Well, speaking of things that are thrown, a couple of nades toward Forrest, and he's down to 42. And Simple makes it much worse with the AWP. Overkill at that point. They'll get the AK back. Boomich hears it, though. Peaks. He'll know there's one in alt middle as a result of the sound of the disappearance. But can do nothing of it, because even if he wants to peek down from Whaler, there's the uncertainty of how many people possess the aim toward him. Macro lining up the deep smoke banana toward Flamey. Boomich a bit aggressive. With that smoke in position. So res, armor, and an AK, he's gone. Lecro likely to pick that weapon up, given that he's the only other one with armor. 
Plopsky is running the AK without, which means it's a massive factor for the aim punch. He's now the only one left in a situation in which he could not trade on Flamey, who got away on 15 HP despite the damage dealt back in his direction. Bomb recovered, but 37 seconds and very unlikely without that armor that he gets very far in this situation with so many players and so much awareness of exactly where he is. Simple wants the push. He's trying to bait him out. He's just toying with his food at this point. Uh, Plopsky does get the smoke down and nullify him. As he does have a low HP player towards new box, there's a chance at a frag here. 20 seconds remain. Already got the one kill, but that's all they found in the round. And Zeus, he got two before he was dropped. He does get towards Coffins. Almost zero chance of winning this now. That confirms it. Simple with the clean shot. It's four players to survive. That was the four spy from the ninjas there. And it's advantage Navi. They post double digits first. Remember, it was only a few moments ago we were saying NIP, they should be locked in here. That was essentially a full eco they lost to due to one smoke and CT spawn. I, I can't even tell you why. That would happen. It's such a basic part of the execution. It was looking so good for them. And they gave it up for three. Glocks across the board. And IP not investing a single dollar here. Not even a flashbang, not a P250. Just a B-Rush. Zeus and Flamey on the cards here for a nice spray down. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we want to see as the blood buff continues to boil. There will be four kills. Found quickly, there is one traded back in return, but that's about it. 11 to nine, Navi on the CT side now. Remember, this is their pick. It's Mirage next. And on the CT side, you'd expect them to close this one out now, considering they've got themselves a nice foundation of cash at this point. Symbol's knocking the door, $9,000. Incendiary down, pretty simple procedure here, no pun intended for Zeus and Co to finish things off here. Just a one kill given away as we see a full array of rifles here for an IP. One Creek for Plopsky, four AKs on the others, and Bare bones utility as well. They're gonna struggle with this one. Deep smoke, high Molotov. No one's really gonna get position at this point. Very different setup this time for Navi that will reach toward A. Anticipating the fact that they've given up Arch, Zeus is going to head back in that direction. Simple is fine on his own, I would say. I think he's proven that he can stay home alone now, mom and dad. And that's why. Even with the flash, nails Plopsky. Forrest intentionally leaves the bomb behind. Boomich spots him, but he spotted in return. And Forrest is aware of how that setup plays. Usually a bait and switch position, so he catches out Flamey, but was not ready for Zeus to counter peek it from the arch side. Again, that was the rotation. Micro's now removed him, but get right once out. Trades are fairly even. Not anymore. Electronic wow. goes back to back with. Simple as they find Rez as well, and it's now 12 to 9. Blinking an eye, and he missed it. It was looking very good for an IP. Trades were there, shots were landing. We're looking at the scoreboard quickly while we have a chance. We are going to see Plopsky, the boy wonder, brought in to replace Dennis here. 8 and 15, still a chance to recover on the T side of Inferno. That's a tall order at the very top for Navi. Is simple 19 kills beneath him. Flamey 18, Electronic 14. Everyone double digits, everyone contributing. They've got NIP down to a partial buy once again. CZs, Desert Eagles, missed shot from Simple, but still continues to fight here. Doesn't have to go for this pick. But that's not really his playstyle, is it? He'll be holding that and uh, at least making his way towards the bombsite. Decent name thrown. And it looks like maybe a bit of a flash attack here towards the apartment's position. Not the first kill for Gerrite, though. Almost, as Boomich finds him with the AK. Rez still waits out towards top side of middle with very, very little left in their arsenal and starting to be less and less members of that arsenal as well because Boomich finds Forrest. Flash out, Zeus, not quite close enough to go all the way around the corner on it quickly, but he will take his time in clearing angles as a result of it, and Micro, interestingly enough, was still blind despite that much time going on after it was thrown. And we've got a 13th round for Navi. Certainly do, Matt. NIP at this point, backs to the wall. Does the AWP come out? I would suggest not. T-side. AWP is incredibly difficult to operate with, especially if you're up against Simple. They're going to have to play a very slow game, use the executions, get that map control. The battle towards Banana is always a massive talking point that I feel like it's going to be bigger than ever here. With three players heading towards that side of the map, it's Zeus setting up with the smoke, flaming electronic to challenge, and Simple providing the pressure towards middle. He's been doing this all tournament, flashed off this time. NIP aware of his antics, it seems. Maybe at a peak then, I feel like there's a kill, but Flash avoided. So he's peeking together here. Are they going to walk up? Are they going to smoke him off? 
Time will tell. They take damage from the HE as he repositions. Rez around the corner. Boomich in the sight. No one in the pits. And that sometimes can be very costly because you can't do anything to deny plant. But the smoke's down. They're not sure of that. Unfortunately for Simple, he can't capitalize because smoke in front of him. Good read from Electronic. Simple was a dead man as Forrest was trying to sneak in behind. But Bomb goes down. Still the advantage to Navi. Get right off angle. Does that change things? There's two heading that direction. He oh, makes wow. no mistake on the first. Slightly changes it so as to elude the fact that he's left. But Zeus needs to go. Oh, Nate out. No chance. Go oh, I say no chance. How? Get right should have had that easily. Yeah, he, he got had the gun to. redrawn, and suddenly there's an opening. Well, the low HP, they should still win the round. That shot might confirm things here, but Simple still alive. But he is bleeding at this point. Dead at this stage. Blobsky comes to life. He's been very quiet, but there's two massive frags there. Get right, you're absolutely dead on. He should have had that kill on Zeus. It seemed like a done deal, but still, they win the round. No harm, no foul. Plenty of cash for Na'Vi, but finally, a round on the board for Na'Vi. Uh, for NIP, sorry, as they have dropped five in a row there. And that's the first time actually had a plant in the last six rounds as well. So, is this where they start to really sing their teeth into the second half? Is that highlight from Simple? The shots hit. Just remarkable as ever. Plovsky, though. Seven kills going into this round and managed to find a few more. The wall banks, the damage done, the pressure applied. It was enough to take Simple. Up against the Orp once again, they set a five AKs here. Not really opting for the Krieg meta at this point. Flamey with the AWP this time, changing things up. Uh, Simple to have the M4A4. Flamey was the secondary Orp of this team for a long while. A lot of people thought Boomich would take over that responsibility, but still. Once was being at the start, Zeus aggressive. He almost gets a second kill. It's Rez down to three. He's stuck in the logs right now. Great spray from Zeus. Let's get right back out. So I've given up the thought, at least for now, of heading over toward A. They still possess the power of Banana because Flamey and Zeus say so, pa say so passive, excuse me. Well, execution towards B seems to be the final call here. Flamey will hold the corner. He'll be flashed before he fires, but there's always the chance to hit the shot while you're fully blind. Three smokes. There's the Banana Man as we speak of it. It's Freiburg's little brother. Smoke down, that's the one I was looking for. Three smokes, one had to go to CT this time, but a counter Molotov, 26 seconds. That buys about five more out of it. Have to go in through it, and Zeus knows that, fires at it blindly and gets one further. Rez gone. He was low HP. So it's not the end of the world. He only had three on entry. Boost up late on Flower Pot. They're looking that direction. Flamey gets one oh. more, but now it's get right time to come alive. Yes! Stage, he's done it so many times. It might be the last, but he's gonna go in style as he gets electronic as well, and an ace. On the card, boom, it's trying to work back in from CT. This is something quite special from NIP. Get right, especially with four kills to his name. He could have the ace this time. It's Boomich who's coming in from the Coffin's position. Forrest towards the well. Will he check it? He certainly will. The dink comes through. That's so unfortunate. Down to one HP. You can see what it means to get right. That's an absolutely monstrous round from him. It keeps the team alive. As we go 13-11, there's money still there for Na'Vi, but my God, did he save the day there. What a play that was. And Boosts he, it up, and he just hits absolutely everything here. He's turned this game around as well because he was very slow. It was about round eight, Ooh. and he only had four kills. This time he got four in one round, and he's on 17, tied top of the lead of NIP. And this says everything. This says whether he stays or not, that says it all. They absolutely. know how much he means to the organization. They're going to let him have his moment. And that smile from him, who's normally someone who's so stressed out, yeah. he's just going to enjoy this moment. He's, he's got nothing to lose at this point. Enjoy it. I think that's the operative word there. If he can just have a decent performance here and show the world he's still got it without the pressure on his shoulders, that's going to be something special in its own right. I love that from Get Right. Excellent work and does keep NIP alive. As we enter round number 25 here, not clear who's going to be taking this. Navi had that round tied up as Zeus looks to get flashed in here. Top of B, Flamey. And a lot towards Coffins. Basic control, you can see they're a lot more tentative in their approach now. Not wanting to battle. 
as much at the top of Banana, just holding the bomb site, holding on to what they have, which isn't much. Flamey, he has a flashbang. Zeus with his smoke, that's all they have to hold off the B. Execution at this stage. Yeah, right. They want to lead the way. They jump out and they swarm Boomich. Simple's time to shine. But even in his position, so long as Electronic stays smoked, unfortunately, that means putting another one there at this point in time. Flamey's the only one that can counter it, but Simple gets it. Flamey finds two. Oh. They go to the yard side. Simple steps out once more, and get right was going to be the key in all of that, because if he could have had access, yes. if he could have walked out, he could have easily traded him off, but they did so much to counter that play, and NIP goes early. NIP slightly mistiming it, trying to peek before the smokes bloom, hoping CT to be caught in transitioning positions, hoping they could avoid the smokes there, but it's Flamey with the pinpoint accuracy there from the library. He hits two kills, Simple swings out with a third, and there was no chance of winning the round at that point, and this spells disaster. Terrorist timeout here, certainly required. As he goes into round number 26, get right with the only AK so far, he's invested. We'll see. If this is where Na'Vi can find map point on their pick Inferno. They have everything they need. They've got a couple of AKs. Make it three on the CT side here. That's a massive advantage. If you're not aware, this is when you can find the one-tap potential. We saw it before. It was Boomer shooting towards Forest. Even the Org, you'd have to have the barrel down that throat to get a one-shot headshot on it. And uh, with the AKs, you have that potential. You can be a little bit more audacious. You can push the angles and actually try and close the game out in the style you choose. This was wonderful from Flame. You can see what I mean. They were hoping to peak that just for the smoke blooms to catch CTs out. But if anything, it costs them the round. And Simple, loving it. He'll take those shots all day long. The bomb was down. They had to commit to it. And the buys will come through. 10 seconds remaining on this timeout. We've got three AKs so far. Problem is, Forrest, $2,700. Reza, 3K. Do they want to go with Mac 10s here? Do they want to go with Deagles and just be thrown in towards a bomb site and see what the rifles can do? It's a Deagle for Forrest. It's a deadly one. He's very good with it. Res on the Glock right now. He can afford an AK or a Galil. He has armor already. I would say AK by his standards. I'd rather have him with the better rifle instead of the utility. He's gone down to 2300 though. As we call for a technical timeout. He went for the Galil just to note. So opting for a bit more strategy here, which might make sense considering Simple is such a dangerous factor for them. They need to try and push him back and remove that vision. We just had a monitor crash, that's all. So hopefully just uh, a simple turn on and off sort of situation here. And we're ready, we're back into the action. It's all good, Matt. Loose cable, give it a wiggle. Exactly, that's all I need sometimes. So, at 14-11. Pressure firmly on NIP to win out this round, or there's no money left to defend that point. Simple. Don't need to tell you what gun he's got and what he wants to do with it. Fast out of spawn, he's got a quick one. He wants to go immediately for the shot. He's already there, jumps across. A little bit late. Couldn't quite catch them as they came up T-stairs. And they did go up quite quickly because even though he couldn't catch them, neither could Boomich, who came down expecting it to be open. The tag, that was big. The fact that it hit him yes. directly, they knew exactly where he was. Yep, three fire comes through. They know he's got to avoid the flames. There's only one place he can be in that smoke and likely to be lined up with the wall as well. But they're going for the banana split here. Quite a delicious one by the looks of things. It's Get Right leading the charge here. Zeus seems to be very aware. He's called it. He knows he needs at least one frag here. I love that he fires, ruins. fires himself up too. A little yeah, stretch of the arm. He's like, right, I've got to perform. Head. Here we go, boys. Time to flex. Here we go. He's got the position. You were right there. Oh, almost lined up for him, to be fair. That was about as close as not getting a kill as you could with two players in front of you because he got 13 damage left on Get Right. Lycro does go down oh, afterwards, no. but Simple missing an unfortunate shot. He did take his time to line it up, but why is Rez not fighting back? I don't know. I didn't see his position. Did he fire all his ammunition in a spray? Was he just completely circuit I, overload? I couldn't tell you. He went, I, maybe he thought it was a teammate. Maybe he slowed too much panic. Maybe no uh, ammo. You're right. There's so many different things. I have to watch the replay afterwards, but who knows? He definitely saw the shot fired in his direction, but still the retake continues here. Two on two, get right low. And we've got one play out towards the ruins. That is the aforementioned get right for us. We'll have to be the one with the responsibility of the fragging here. He's got 100 HP, no nades, and he's taken damage now from the HE. 59 HP, and good enough to find Simple, the hardest one to solve. But 
It's not to discount Electronic. The unfortunate part is he was stuck in the site. Forrest shuts it down. Must win round and NIP are still alive. They might have broken the finances here as well. That is absolutely huge. Remember, they came into this round with three rifles. Uh, Deagles, PD-50s, they managed to pull it off. It comes right down to the wire. As we have another time out here. 14 to 12. Navi averaging around $3,000 at this point. At the very top of the chart, simple with 5,000. Electronic just beneath that. Problem is Boomage, $1,800. Flamey, 38, Zeus, 33. Do they want to buy into this one? They could take a buff around. They could just allow it to go 14, 13. That allows NIP to get closer. There's another option of trying to keep them on a leash. Go for map points here and go for the haymaker, the knockout punch. And force buy into this with a simple glass cannon AWP and electronic. Or perhaps maybe the M4A4 and really go for it. They don't have to, but it is an option. Are they checking get right uh, PC for cheats at this point? Yeah. That round was a little bit too much. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, sir, can you please close word.exe? <laughs> It, that was like, I haven't seen anything like that from him in a long time. That, that was something quite beautiful. Excellent to watch, but obviously, yes, technical delay on Get Right's PC, so we'll get to the bottom of it, hopefully. I think they're checking. He's looking down the line, and judging by Peter's yeah. movement, the mic's cutting in and out, I think, is the issue. They do have noise-canceling microphones as well as sure. just the headsets now. So what that means, obviously, is it means they can't use... Yeah, it's the replay, man. So... First shot fired, so he brings up the gun, then the knife. That's what I don't get. He's he not trying right. to jump maybe into safety. Maybe he was a teammate. Maybe he just didn't identify the situation at you, all. If you had run out of ammo, which it didn't look like he had, you would just knife out, jump to logs, right? You just get out of there. You wouldn't just start crouching and looking into a wall, but still they win the round. So I guess it doesn't have one of those knock-on effects we'll talk about, like the big infamous knife earlier in the tournament. Um, so there we go. Just a, a weird moment there. And uh, we'll see whether this... Sound issue is resolved. It looks like we might be ready to play as the headset. Ooh, I like on. that. Admin jumping in immediately, making sure no discussions. Indeed. But they're still checking to make sure Chris can talk. But I, I, I'm speculating here, but it looks like either a noise gate of some fashion. Yeah, Mike, they've just, they've just said it actually in chat because they were wondering on the Navi side. They've asked them. So something's cutting. He's not getting all of his words through. It seemed intermittent. See if they can solve it quickly. Hopefully they can. As I say, a lot of it comes up. We, we sometimes have a noise gate on our mics yes. as well for different reasons, so we don't get double pickup. Me yelling loudly comes through not only my mic, but yours. Don't over talk each other. Don't get too much feedback from crowd. In the case of the players, it's very similar, but they don't want to have the crowd be able to identify noise. You know, players used to be quite sneaky, hold mics open on purpose so that they yes, get information, even hear us booming through the sound system, even though yeah. we're not directly near them. So there was all kinds of little tricks like that. So it could just be something in the software playing up in that situation. It could be a hard, hardware issue as well. But judging by the fact that they're all tabbing and going through programs, I would say they are trying to solve it on the software side. Yeah, this is going from a mild issue to quite a severe one. We've got two admins down there trying to work it out. It is just voice, so hopefully it won't take too long here. But I can confirm, and as you can see on the screen right now, it's just a deagle purchased by Flamey. Suggests they are going to take just a partial here. Um, the way this tournament's gone, though, so far, that doesn't mean much. It could be absolutely anything happening in round number 27 here. But the nod of the head is get right. Uh, a player, this could be the last time we see him in the NIP jersey. He's been wearing it since 2012. Now. And, and I can't stress to you how that, how much that really means. I mean, you got to take a moment and look back over the stats, over the history of all three Counter-Strike versions, and he's up there with the very best, no matter what argument you're having, no matter what statistic you're looking at, bar maybe AWP. But everything else in every other way, that guy has invented or reinvented his role in the game in some fashion. Spray control in early CSGO, every gun in CSGO, it was a new thing at the time, has its own recoil pattern. He was the first and probably the best to figure them out in the early days, part of the reason NIP was so successful. Yes. And he was the best player two consecutive years on the HLTV ratings. Yeah, he's an absolute legend. If he, if he walks off of NIP right Right now sure we may see him again on another team we may not it's it's a big thing everyone no matter if you're an nip or get right fan or not you have to appreciate what he's done yeah you got to respect it one of the absolute greats as uh flamey his stats speak for themselves as well he'll be right up there with 23 kills having a great game there along with simple also with 23 as uh i'm just going to check the chat right now and see what's going on still seems to be a slight issue here we are seeing 
The admins and the headsets still off, so still we will wait. If you are just joining us, this is the first map of our closing quarterfinal of the day. NIP versus Na'Vi were currently on the pick of the CIS team. They're 14-12 up on the CT side. But get right, the man on your screen right now. A player allegedly removed after this event, or potentially the major, will be showing us some absolutely marvelous things on the server so far. Oh, that looks absolutely lovely out there. The Cologne crowd, even on a Friday, map, packed yeah. to the rafters. Couldn't think of a better Friday night, to be honest. Last year, you guys were quite clever with your phones. Got the ESL written in the rafters. We call it the cathedral for a reason. Privileged to be on the stage every year in this building. Fifth year. And it's been sold out every time for good reason yeah it's definitely one of the absolute favorites on the calendar for the players the spectators and as included and think about the teams we have left right now we are lining up to have an absolutely incredible run oh, to yes. sunday yeah. with the five teams remaining will be four when this one's done it's either nip navi they'll play against liquid on the other side you've already got vitality going up against astralis As such, by the way, just to note, they said it in the interview, Vitality has not played Astralis yet, so we'll see really who's clever there, who can bring something that perhaps surprises the other, how good is the scouting on the other side, or is it back to basics, play your game, play your style, and don't overthink it, because again, not knowing each other, it's going to be very different, so they are going to do a hardware swap by the looks of it on stage. Might even have to do a steam re off. That's the hard box usually they put the phones in. Exactly. The, the two step authentication required on steam. That's why the phones are brought back out. You're not allowed any phones on stage just to avoid any tomfoolery. So hopefully, we'll be underway in a few minutes, but this could take some time. If you want a chance and you want to let them know, Get Right has his head set off. It's an appropriate time for affection. Maybe not. He's an emotional player at the same time. Well, while this concludes, Matt, we're just going to get everything underway and tested. We do have a lovely little piece on Lecro uh, just to kind of fill the time and fill the air while we get everything sorted. We'll leave you with this right now. ways of uh, going mid is either you play against an aggressive offer, who knows you're playing AK, which sometimes I am, um, but sometimes I like to change it up, either go uh, second mid or I could jump the uh, sewers pretty fast, or if you play off you can punish other offers when they believe you have AKs. So there's a lot of ways you can uh, just try to mind game the other players. A good way to know where if you're going to head banana or mid is by counting the smokes a lot of the times, or utility. So you know how many smokes there are left, or molotovs, or something like that. Or if you just feel like, uh, if you have some, some call in the beginning of the round, that you feel like they're playing heavy B or heavy mid, you can use uh, your previous information to choose where to go. Uh, personally, I think uh, smoking up long when you're taking mid is the most important thing. I think smoking short is uh, making yourself very spammable, and uh, if they are boosted on the roof and they have a crossfire from long, you, you're not gonna end up well. Um, I think uh, flashing the short angles, if they have an offer holding boiler, I think uh, it's the most important thing. But uh, if you're playing as a team, you should have a standard mid take, but if you're playing uh, in matchmaking or face it or something, or ECA, I think you should play, uh, you have just use flashes a lot. Well, there we have it. Lecro, the in-game leader for NIP, with some tips there on Inferno for you guys at home. He's having a pretty decent game so far. A rifler, now Orpa. He can do it all. One of the young guns brought in a few years ago as the Mexican wave comes in. I love this, guys. Keep it going. Keep it all the way around, please. Commit to it. We need to see it make it all the way around. There it is. Absolutely wonderful scenes there. Oh, it keeps going. It never stops. 
That's a great effort, man. You gotta respect that. We're behind the stage. We're doing it as it goes by us too. I promise. Exactly. We're doing it. There My it is. Are up. We're in the. Uh... It's a solid wave. Yeah, it's got some is, inertia. This is one of the best we've ever seen. This this synergy you guys have got is uh, sometimes probably better than this one's on the server right now. Yeah. This is uh, amazing. I would. Uh, I think Rushley would surf that wave. <laughs> Well, we're just about ready. It's not quite back in the server yet, but they're solving and testing the issues because it needs a bit of testing to be absolutely certain. On round, well, what will be round 27. Boomage first time on the stage. I think he's just told off. No communication, my friends. Get that headset back on. There it is. None of that. As we do hope to see Ken Wright get back on the server momentarily. The small technical issue has turned into a bit of a mammoth one. Well, and the issue is how the momentum swings in these moments because that's a good point. NIP just came off of a must win round. Yep. They're close to breaking down Navi. It's 14 12, and they're not out of the woods yet. I said if they lost the last round, they would play against Map Point with no weapons. They're still fighting a similar fate if they don't succeed here. Bomb plant at the very least, but you're still on map point. It's a very interesting idea. We have confirmed the Na'Vi are not going to force by, at least from what I can see. Flamey purchased a Deagle, right? So they are going to allow NIP. I say allow. It, it should be going down to NIP. Gets around 13, and Na'Vi will have everything they need to try and close this one out. Apparently, we are fixed. We are ready. We are connecting on the server just now. Get right is making his way back in. Thank you so much for being awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this will be underway very shortly. This is only the first map. You guys have provided some excellent entertainment in the downtime here. Get right, just needs to get on the server. We'll get this one underway. Your closing quarterfinal of the day here. The crowd is still going. Get your phones out as well. Let's just make this uh, a special moment at this point for a special man that has to reconnect. And get right flashbangs. Yes, we mentioned this earlier in the tournament. He is technically a support player now. The lurk role doesn't really have a place in today's game. It's not as prevalent. And but his support play has been great. He did in-game lead for a few months, but ever since he's come off that, he's been focusing more on this full-on support style. Flashbang assists have been wonderful. He's been doing a great job in that department. And this game, he's had some world-class moments. It feels like the pressure's off his shoulders. He's able to show us what he's capable of still. Uh, when the whole world isn't against him. And uh, we haven't seen him get on the server quite yet, but I, I got a feeling we're very close. There he is. He has connected. I can confirm. Get right is back on the server. I can see him spinning around. He's testing the mouse. It looks like we might be underway. The console has been set to ready. Ladies and gentlemen, 14 12. Make some noise. This quarterfinals get it back on the way. It's Na'Vi in the lead, but can they hold on? They've got a full eco to fend off here. NIP will have a huge advantage. Can they find round number 13? Can they steal the map away from Na'Vi? Get right, finds himself back on the server at this point. The money's there, the AK's in hand. And it will be a tactical timeout now, just so they can actually talk at this point, Matt. It's been about 10 minutes since they've actually been able to chat. So 30 seconds now just to decide on the game plan. Like I said, Flamey did buy a Deagle before, but they might go against that at this point. A full restart came through. So they could go for the AWP here. Glass cannon on simple, electronic with a full rifle setup. That would be a gamble and a half. You do that, they're tying it up to 14-14 if you lose that round. If you allow this one to go by, take the partial, you can be fully equipped and close it out in the way you want. I'm so interested to see which way they lean towards here. Nothing purchased as of yet. 10 seconds remaining. And we're back into the action. There it is, Flamey with the Deagle once again. Looks like that's all they're really bringing. Zeus Swift, the incendiary. Simple's got a shotgun here, a Nova. So there is something happening here. There's, there's a, a set piece coming through. Here we go, back into the action. 14-12, and a shotgun has been brought out. I'm so interested to see what they do with it. I respect the decision from Navi not to get too carried away with yes. the money in this round, because that would make problems worse. They still have a buffer of two rounds. So really, this should be NIPs, but 
I need not tell you how monumental it would be if they lost it. Yeah, Ryan takes his time, checks inside a boiler. Nade on top of it to clear out the stairs, just to push any of the defenders back. Zeus, he's over toward B alone. Just to note, there's a stack top mid, we saw it. And he's hearing some activity toward the top of Banana, but Rez and Plopski are also a little bit timid. But as you say, you built it up very well, and they did do very well in the situation last time. It was the single smoke missing that cost them, yes. but up to that, the way they constructed the round, the way that they checked off the angles and cleared the control was brilliant. And they're doing that again now, except they overlooked the slight angle that's gonna catch them out top middle. Bomb, thankfully, is over toward B, though, and they'll head that direction. The single kill, Nobby's aware of it. They're gonna try and rotate and catch them out. Gun is available oh. in the bottom side of middle. They're gonna push down. Simple's gone by it, though. He elects not to grab it, he still has the shotgun. There's a gun that could have been easily grabbed at the top of mid, they won't have, but they've got them pinched in, and Simple is on the flank. Get right starts it off. Simple knows now he needs to close the ground. He needs to get behind him. Oh! He needs to make the nose work, and now it's upgrade to the AK, but Plopsky on him too soon, Zeus. He's still got res. 18 seconds, bomb with one HP. Get right's gonna try and put it down. Plopsky has to Oh, he's done it! He's gone! He could lose another one! One on one, he's gotta get to the bomb. 10 seconds, there's time enough to do so, but the rotation from Flamey already in. He's gotta hold it. Flamey's gonna sneak in so soft, and Plopsky, oh, just barely gets over the half wall, but he's still not aware. He's in behind. He is now. He is now, and there's no gun in the direction of oh! Oh! Map point, Navi! There it is! The round they couldn't afford to lose. Na'Vi entered with a Nova shotgun, a Deagle, some P250s, and Zeus in his incendiary. I didn't think that investment was worth it. $600, it's a massive one to make, but it saves the day, it buys the time, it delays NIP for so long they can't even think about the flank, and it's the shotgun that connects, and it's a gut punch to the ninjas at this point. The wind taken out of their sails, and now the pressure's on them. How does that happen? Forrest didn't stand a chance, and the one versus one, I can't believe it. Flamey, I thought he missed his chance at that point. It didn't look like he'd done enough there. Plopsky had the advantage, and he turns around and gets a bullet to the face from the Desert Eagle. We're into the next round, here comes Forrest. He's good for nothing, but there is the trade. Flamey alone on the B bomb side now. Do they fully commit to this push? It's gonna be Flamey that has at least hold it off. Drops the bomb for a moment, lines up another headshot on the third. So crisp, so concise, and it might be exactly the last round of this game. As a result, Plopsky's going to plant. AK still in hand, two kills. This needs to be an ace from the rookie on NIP. Ouch. First time on a stage like this for him. And he doesn't seem too scared or timid, but stepping into the smoke, Electronic closes it out. Navi take map one. It is their map choice. And Mirage comes up next. What a game. That really has set the scene. We had some absolutely spectacular moments. That's what you want to see. Na'Vi picking up that map pick. It was a close game, 16 to 12. Some absolutely electrifying moments in there. Get Right's performing with some stunning moments. And Simple, he's hitting absolutely everything. But Flamey stole the show at the end. He finishes a 28 frags and 18 deaths. And a really clinical finish with that spray down on the AK-47 at the B-bomb site. With that, we've got to take a break. What a finish. It was worth the wait. We'll be right back with the desk and map number two.